A big weekend of track and field coverage for you on WOSN. You already saw day one from the MAC earlier this week. We covered a host of the finals in the field. On Saturday, we will bring you a doubleheader. Friday, or finals, I should say, from the WBL, which will start at 9. The finals going down tomorrow. We will air it the next day. NWC finals, same day, Saturday at 11. And the trees were blown in Spencerville for Northwest Conference. Start with the boys high jump at 510. It was windy. Columbus Grove's Bailey Clement. No trouble here. He would be your champion. Bearcats Trevor McMichael is second try. The bar blew over the first time. He didn't even touch it, but he will have to settle for the silver. Over to the boys pole vault, Columbus Groves, or Bluffton's Clay Wilson, I should say. Nice jump over 12 feet. Three guys tie at 12-4. Colton Miller wins the 12-4 jump. Now girls long jump. Eight is Carly Marshall over 13 feet. Here goes 15, three and a half to finish second. She's trailing this young lady, Spencerville Skyler Miller. Had a big smile after this straight out jump. She wins 15, five and a quarter. Bluffton's Ashley Baker, also on the medal stand, soars 14 feet, one inch to finish in third. Now to the shot put, Alan East Jacob Sherrick, over 37 feet, finishes ninth in the Northwest Conference. Columbus Grove's Reese Roney, 43-1. He takes fourth place. Third place goes to Bluffton's Hunter Smith and a pair of Spencerville Bearcats at the top. Here's your champion, the wrestling standout, Logan Vandemark. 49 feet, eight and one half inch. His teammate Evan Pugh second over 45. We take a look at team results. Of course, this is just the four by eights. All right, I have them. Well, I did have them. Um, we'll try and get them to you later in the show.